Gracias, Dr. Tedros. Thank you, Dr. Tedros, my brother. My greetings. For Costa Rica, it is an honor to be part of this joint work, which will send a strong message to all of humanity of the wonderful things that we can do and we are capable of bringing about together to care for the well-being of all. I'd like to call for hope, particularly for the most vulnerable people throughout the world. Today, leaders of states and high representatives of multilateral organizations from academia and social and civil society are joining to say that we have made a solid a commitment of solidarity to work for human dignity and international solidarity the covid-19 pandemic will show a before and an after in the history of humanity, not only in terms of our healthcare systems, but also for working together and for relationships between people. Because despite the crisis we've had to face, we have an opportunity to take joint decisions which will change for good the future of the world population in the short and medium term. So we have a challenge of a lifetime to guarantee universal access to health technologies that we need to face COVID-19. The promise of a sure and safe and effective, affordable health care solutions such as treatments and vaccines must be the guide for our actions and it will allow us to overcome a crisis which has left behind so much pain in so many communities throughout the world. Nevertheless, there is no point in achieving these amazing technological developments if we cannot guarantee affordable access to technology. At the beginning of the pandemic, I called on the Director General of the WHO, my dear friend, Dr. Tedros, to help us build together a mechanism that would help us to make available to all states throughout the world the healthcare technologies that will be developed in the fight against this virus and it, the disease it brings. In recent weeks, this joint effort has helped us to put together this call for solidarity and action to give us a platform so we can share openly on a voluntary basis and in a collaborative way the data and the intellectual property that will be generated throughout the world in order to make it a public global good. During the World Health Assembly, the 73rd WHA, which was held in such an innovative manner recently, the member states of the World Health Organization raised their voices and supported the development of this initiative. And it will allow all countries to have access to solutions which will help us protect us, protect ourselves and to ensure that we leave nobody behind. On this path, Countries from all regions and areas of the world have joined their forces, and I'm most grateful to them. Given that they have put above all the well-being of others, so I'm most grateful to Argentina, Bangladesh, Barbados, Belgium, Belize, Bhutan, Brazil, Chile, Ecuador, Egypt, Honduras, Indonesia, the Lebanon, the Maldives, Mexico, Mongolia, Mozambique, Norway, Oman, the Netherlands, Pakistan, Palau, Panama, Peru, Portugal, the Dominican Republic, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Timor-Leste, Uruguay and Zimbabwe. Those heads of state and heads of government who haven't yet joined this initiative, I invite you to not miss this opportunity and to be part of a historic event for humanity. Because nothing will be more 
pleasing than in some years when historians look at this crucial moment that you will see that all of our countries were part of the international stakeholders who took a step forward and took a visionary decision for of great humanity. So we must support this call of solidarity by joining the support to this, to the COVID-19 technology access pool, which will look at knowledge and intellectual property. We must call on our in public and private companies as well as our research institutes so that they can contribute in a voluntary way to the exchange platform. We have also seen actors from the international area who have been dedicating their work to find the solutions to the well-being of the populations that suffer the most. So their activity also deserves my recognition. The private sector has come to us to understand the proposal and to identify how they can be part of it. So I celebrate this step because those who have understood that only through a public-private partnership can we build a better future. A future where all of the brilliant scientific advances of our societies will be pillars in the building of a horizon which will give dignity to each life and a future where our capacity will be made stronger so that we can work towards sustainable development. To give an example of good practices in Costa Rica, the private sector has also offered its contribution. The commitment of industry, which is necessary to answer this call of solidarity. Boston Scientific with the Universal University of Minnesota under the concept of solidarity and social responsibility has given pre-approval for the open use of the design of the covent ventilator so that this medical device can be manufactured on a local level by companies that wish to do so. Solidarity within and between countries and the private sector is essential if we want to overcome these difficult times. We need to free up all of the power of science so that we can carry out innovation which can is scalable and can be used and assist all in all parts of the world. It's only through the acceleration of research and development of technologies against COVID-19 that we will be able to succeed. Nevertheless, no country will be able to overcome the pandemic until we have all overcome it. So the developments must be affordable for all. That's why I call on industries and academic sectors, just as in Costa Rica, that they register and share their knowledge and their intellectual property and data and healthcare technologies so that we can overcome COVID-19 for all of humanity. The University of Costa Rica has developed and makes available to humanity a protocol for the manufacture from convalescing patients' plasma, injectable materials of human hemoglobins, which are hyperimmune to SARS-CoV-2, for the treatment of severely ill patients. These two initiatives, which are related to the design, design and validation of the diagnostic test for COVID-19, such as the development of ventilators so that the knowledge can then be transferred. The Technological Institute of Costa Rica is in this repository and has allowed us so that Costa Rica can make internationally available three different initiatives which are being worked on to fight against COVID-19. The development of uh, N95 face masks, the, designer, the design of covers for stretchers for the Red Cross ambulances and a mechanical ventilator, and the Center for Biotechnological 
Development has put forward a project which optimizes scalable protocols for the detection of the virus SARS-CoV-2, which come from the use of commercial kits and minimize the dependence. The aim is to create alternatives if there is a scarcity of kits and to facilitate their application in regions with limited access to robotic systems. This is inspired from success stories that we've seen in Uruguay, Spain and the COVID consortium. But it adapts to the regional reality and the results can be shared freely. Our civil society is essential in the process by advocating to ensure that more and more actors join in a way of solidarity. For example, it's important that the rights holders be convinced that they need to be partners in our initiative. Shared knowledge, intellectual property and open data will make real our collective efforts. In order to advance in scientific discovery, technological development and the change of the benefits of scientific process, progress and its use, based on the development of health. This initiative sets up a viable model to promote access based on equity, solid science, open collaboration and global solidarity. Global solidarity will speed up science and will open access to public goods so that we can overcome the virus. Each commitment each step forward counts. Our peoples are watching us and are looking for leadership which is capable of working collectively to find real solutions for joint actions which will help us without any selfishness work towards a world where public healthcare is universal and safeguarded. I continue to believe in the potential of humanity and our way to be able to bring about change. Every day is a story and it's worth working tirelessly in a collaborative way without any egoism with, between the public and private sectors, with academia and civil society, so that soon no life will be lost because of this pandemic. With a full heart to all those here at this forum and to all participating in this initiative. Thank you very much. We want to support everyone throughout the planet who needs this. Thank you.